Bishop, and we're here from Jefferson Middle School in Delphus for News 6. The students of Jefferson Middle School are very proud of their 8th grade basketball team with a record of 14-0 and and winning the final tournament game 49-37. The Wildcats won the Northwestern Conference Championship. Since the formation of the middle school, it's the best team and the first to have gone undefeated. Coach Clark felt that the successful season was due not only to the team's ability, but also to the boys' confidence and spirit. He also stated that the team was greatly encouraged by the numerous fans. The fans saw many players during the season. The coach felt that he could use many players because each would be doing his very best. After taking, talking to a few members of the team, we discovered that they felt that the most important game was the championship. Their, con their confidence was shown by their statement that they thought that they could win every game. Ruth? In Dolphus, every year there is a carnival called the Old Fashioned Canal Days. This year, a small museum with an antique fire engine was presented to Dolphus. On the back of the museum was a mural of a scene of a canal boat going down the canal. This mural was painted by a group of college students from Yellow Springs, Ohio. It took them about a day to complete it. Dolphus has a very old city building, and things are being done to make them more modern. For instance, the Girl Scout Hall is being remodeled by having the ceilings lowered and new floor coverings put on. This will take about three weeks. The Green Thumb Organization is paying for the labor while the city is paying for the materials. The police area is in also being remodeled. The jail is also. The, all the officers are getting new fronts. The superintendent of Delphus is Mr. Sweeterman. He has many jobs, including controlling traffic, taking care of sewage and cemeteries. He must attend all the city meetings and all of the mayor's gatherings. To get this job, he had to have a professional engineer degree or 10 years of experience in city affairs. Mr. Sweeterman took this job because it has many challenges. And now to you, Eric. In 1936, Ferdinand Bredike came to America. He started a settlement on the banks of the Auglaize River. Six years later, he started a, f a new settlement. In 1850, this settlement was known as Delphus. Father Bredike suggested the name, which is from the Greek word Adelphus, meaning brother. In 1843, the Miami Canal was started. This canal ran from the Ohio River to the Lake Erie. The canal along with wagons brought many settlers to the area. Before the canal, the area was wooded with very few buildings. In 1845 and 1847, E.N. Martin built the first sawmill in the area, followed by the first grist mill. The first post office was built in 1847. It was located in a building on the platform near the canal lock between the gates on the west side of the canal. Black Friday came to Delphus on May, th May 3rd, 1872. It was the day that 45 stru structures were destroyed by a fire. Fire companies came from Lima, Van Wert, and Fort Wayne in Indiana. The loss was estimated between $125,000 and $150,000. On March 5, 1874, the canal packet Sandy Carney Company was formed. Police, policing of the canal would be done through Spencerville, St. Mary's, New Bremen, and Dolphus. On May 19, there will be a school fair at Jefferson Middle School. The school fair is display of the work done by the students. This way the public is able to see the accomplishments achieved during the year. In language arts and reading there will be examples by student work on such projects as collages, puzzles, short stories, travel brochures, newspapers, and current event scrapbooks. In social studies there will be displays of mobile made, mobiles made from coat hangers and labeled with information about European countries. Castles made from sugar cubes and pioneers made with matchsticks. 
In science, projects have been made in the field of electricity. Some of these projects include telegraphs, motors, and bells. There are also projects concerning plants and animals. Students in math have done a great deal of work with the metric system. And now to you, Jane. The stadium park in Delphus was built by the WPA, the Workers' Progress Administration, during the Depression. The pool and the football field are the most important parts of the park. However, they are not the only parts of the park. There are other areas also. These are the four tennis courts, the playground equipment, one outdoor basketball court, four baseball diamonds, and a picnic area. The pool was built in the years between 1938 and 1940. It is, it is 10 feet deep in the deep end and holds 507,000 gallons, gallons of water. It, in preparing the pool in the spring for summer use, it takes a full month to get into working shape. The pool is cared for, cared for in the winter as well as in the summer. In the winter, water is kept in the pool. Rubber tires surround the inside of the pool to keep the cement from cracking. Besides keeping the pool in top shape, the city buys new equipment for the playground area, paints the tennis courts, and plans the expansion of the park. Back to you, Chip. I'm Chip for Eric, Ruth, Jane, and Mrs. Vanessa's sixth grade class. This has been News 6. Have a good day.